Hey guys, it's 27 Tima. Uh, this is part two of my um, October wrap up update. Um, this basically is going to be uh, a wrap up of last weekend. And when I say last weekend, no, it's not the same weekend that I mentioned last weekend in my last video because uh, I'm taking this video a week after I took the last one, if that makes any sense. So um, this is the second week. Um, update. So last video was talking about uh, leagues and everything that happened two weeks ago. Um, this past weekend was the VPO, which is the Veterans Park Open, uh, 24th annual Veterans Park Open, which is a tournament in Arlington, Texas, which is about 40 minutes from where I live. Um, and we had a few big names come out. Um, we had Paul McBeth, Eric McCabe, we had Greg Barsby, um, and a few other guys show up, so that was pretty cool. Um, so I decided to go down with a few friends to watch them. Um, that was uh, it was definitely a cool experience. Uh, definitely learned a lot watching them how they play and how they decide what they're gonna do and how they make their shots. And it's just amazing to watch these guys play because they're just so good. Um, while I was down there, um, I was able to snap. Unfortunately, only one video because. I had to leave before the final nine, and I was really hoping to stay for the final nine so I could take video, but um, I had to leave before that, and so in the process of getting ready to take video, I took one video of Paul Macbeth making a putt, and so I will show that right here. So that was Paul sinking a 30-footer to save par. Um, it was a shorter par 3, on a, but he got tangled up in some trees, and that was his, uh, it was, that was his third putt. Or no, I'm sorry, not third, but it was his second putt. His first putt got tangled in some trees, um, and so he, was, he had to make that to save his par, which he did. Um, and he made a lot of those that day, but he also missed a few putts, unfortunately. Um, I was also able to snap a few pictures. Um, the first two were of Paul on the well-known uh, Texas Star hole at Veterans Park. I think it's hole number 11 or 9 or something like that. Um, but they're basically in the ground there's a big star and up on er, <clears throat> it's an elevated basket with the Texas flag on top. So it's pretty cool. Um, so here's the two pictures of that. So that was pretty cool, um, taking those pictures, I was able to sneak up while he was putting and take the pictures without distracting him, which was awesome. Uh, he made that putt, just if you guys were wondering. Um, also while I was there, I was able to grab a picture with him, so here's the picture of Paul and I. Alright, so enough of that, let me show you um, what I walked away with uh, from the tournament. Uh, well, first of all, I watched Paul and Eric and their group, Greg Barsby. I watched them for about 12 holes um, out of a 24-hole round. Uh, but uh, one of my friends was on the chase card, and so halfway through the round, I walked up to the chase card, and um, I offered him to ca or I offered to caddy for him, and he said sure. So I grabbed his bag for 12 holes, which he was very appreciative of. He wasn't having the best of days, but I kind of just kind of got him out of his um, uh, groove, which is, or I got him into his good groove or whatever you want to call it. Um, and so him saying thank you to me because I, um, he ended up cashing out. I think he t took ninth place and made a few hundred bucks. Um, he said thank you by giving me a disc. Um, so he gave me this pretty cool. This is a glow monster, uh, beat up, flat top monster. Um, I don't have a weight on it, but uh, it's one of my favorite discs already. I've thrown it for a few rounds now, um, and it uh, it's overstable. Um, I can throw it; it'll ride up, but it will stay overstable. Um, so it's really good in the wind. Um, 
and it's more stable than my other uh, than my fire one uh, than my flippy firebird but it's not as stable as my other firebird so it's great right in between them um okay so at the tournament there was a bunch of people that i wanted to get signatures from of course paul Macbeth, he's my favorite disc golfer so um i've got him i got him to sign a few discs but as well uh paige pierce was there um, so paige pierce signed right in the middle of that disc uh, this is just a, a white KC uh, rock that I took the stamp off of. Uh, and then Bolt, Bo Tillman, which is right there. That's the guy I ended up getting for. He's a, a friend of mine that I met at a tournament a few, uh, few weeks ago, the Turner Twist. Um, he ended up winning that in Men's Pro Open, so uh, that's how I know him. And then Greg Barsby, he signed it right there. He was a really cool guy. Um, he was warming up for the final nine, and I was able to run up to him and talk to him for a few minutes. Um, and I got him to sign this. And he's just a really cool guy. Um, shout out to him for, I think, taking fifth. Um, so, let's see. So the next signature I got was Eric McCabe. And because I had this special edition uh, judge laying around that I'm not going to throw... Um, I had him sign that, so I have the Emac signed Special Edition Judge, which is uh, pretty cool. Alright, and then of course, uh, Paul Macbeth, I, I was going crazy uh, seeing him, so I had him sign a few discs. Um, first, this is the first run Mic Pro AVR, um, so the first release. It was before he won, I believe it was before he won his first uh, world championship, but I'm, don't quote me on that. Um, the only reason I say that is because it's the Paul Macbeth. Alright, scratch that, I'm sorry. He won He won in 2012, this is a 2013 Tour Series disc. Um, so that's, I, I just, sorry. Okay, whatever. But I had I had him sign that, and it was a gold stamp, so I had him sign it in gold, which is pretty cool. Um, it used to be in my bag. I took it out. I'm kind of debating if I should have should put it back in because it's like I don't have another disc that flies like it quite yet. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out that. But uh, that was pretty awesome. Then um, on my custom dyed gator, I custom dyed this gator, and I took the stamp off of it. And uh, he signed that, which is pretty cool. Uh, the reason that I did this disc is because Paul McGuff throws a gator. Um, I thought it'd be cool if he signed the disc that he threw. Um, and he actually, he liked the die on it. So that was pretty cool. Um, super, super cool to hear him say, like, that's cool. Um, and then this last one is uh, my, all, my all, I guess, favorite, I guess most favorite of all of them. Um, just because A, it's a rare disc. And B, it's, I don't know, it just means a lot to me. Um, when I was at the tournament, one of the guys I was playing on the chase card was selling um, Innova Air Force stamped discs. And I had been look, I've, I've been looking for one for weeks, months, I guess. Um, I hadn't found anybody that's selling them. And he's selling them as fundraiser discs for the, um, for the national tour. Um, so he sold it to me for a good price. And I figured while I have it, I might as well get Paul Macbeth to sign it and uh, increase the value even more. So I have this maroon Rock 3 with this awesome Air Force stamp and Paul Macbeth signature on it. Um, and this one just means the most to me. I don't know why, but it, I, I think it's the coolest one that I have. Um, so that's going to be in my collection for a long time until I get, I don't, I don't know, if I find someone that really, really wants it and uh, can offer me a good deal for that. Um, so that's what I got this weekend, um, this past weekend, which is pretty cool. I was super excited. Um, I definitely recommend if you guys get the chance to go out and watch these pros. Um, it's a great learning experience just watching them and how, how great they are, first of all. Um, it's really cool to watch and be just seeing how they execute everything, their mental game, their warm-up, their, um, their just how they handle themselves on the course. It's, it's really cool. It's, it's interesting because I... I don't know, I had expectations, and some of them were met, and others weren't, and so I was very, I mean, it was it was definitely something, um, something that I'm going to remember for a while, and hopefully, eventually, I can play with them someday, I don't know if that'll happen, but 
we'll see. Dream big, right? All right, well, that's all I have for right now, guys. Um, right now, I'm working on getting um, some disc reviews out because when I went out, I went and did some field testing, and my sister brought her camera. She's got a nice camera. Um, the problem was we forgot a tripod, and so the, the, the image is very um, shaky um, because she was holding it in her hand while she was videotaping, so um, it's, it's kind of... Sometimes it gets really shaky. So I'm going to see if I can get her back out to go to one of the fields with me so I can do a little bit more field testing. <clears throat> but uh, right now um, I'm looking at, I've got one more tournament this year um, on the schedule so far. Um, and then I'm just con continuing to do leagues periodically when I've got time and when I'm not exhausted. Um, so that's all I got for you guys tonight. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe because I have the 100 subscriber giveaway coming up. Um, and when I say coming up, I mean it. it's just going to take as long as I get 100 subscribers. So as soon as I get 100 subscribers, I'm going to have a video put out for the 100 subscriber video, uh, giveaway. Um, so tell your friends, family, anybody um, to subscribe to my channel and so I can do a giveaway. All right, guys. Thank you. I'll see you later.